Hello miners, welcome back to the 3 Fox Company YouTube channel and the topic of today's video is how can you get payouts for Ethereum daily? Now this video is aimed at the smaller miners uh, people with you know just maybe one or two GPUs and I'll go ahead and show you in this video exactly how it's done Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today's video we're going to discuss how that you can get payouts for mining Ethereum without any fees and daily payouts. So the exciting news is that two miners actually launched this just recently. So where you can mine Ethereum and be paid out in a different coin. So by doing that it's got many benefits that actually you can save on pool fees and you can also you know have like a different coin that you mine and also you just diversify your portfolio just a disclaimer in this video i'm not sponsored in this video i actually got the information from seb Eslov's channel he also published a video mainly on how this is set up in windows if you are mining in windows so in today's video i will be sharing how to set up uh, ivo s for running this process so first of all let's go to the article that was published by two miners.com you can actually found it on the two miners website okay so what they are explaining in this article set up your mining facility that you can have daily payouts so first of all what is the reasoning behind this what what are we trying to achieve and why did they come up with this idea so basically as we all know if you are mining ethereum all the pools has got like minimum payout thresholds usually around 0.01 ethereum some of the pools even go as high as a minimum of 0.1 ethereum so this means that for the smaller miner you can actually you know mine like a month straight and only then get a payout fairly small farm also it's the costs or the gas fees associated with doing payouts which currently as explained in this article so the main issue what they say is so let's say you've only got one gpu which only earns you like three dollars per day so that means you will get a monthly payout of about $90 on which you will pay $7.5 in fees which is you know like 10% or sometimes more just depending on the gas fee at the time of the payout that you're going to get now the gas fees are quite erratic you know it changes a lot at different times of the day depending on the uh, network congestion for payouts so what we are trying to do is to actually mine ethereum and then pay it out in a different coin so by doing that we are able not only to get paid out in a different coin which you can either accumulate or which you can exchange for ethereum or bitcoin or any other available coin it also means that you know there's not delayed payouts due to gas fees so the transactions are processed much easier or quicker so the two coins that we can actually exchange it into is either nano or bitcoin so for the first time you can actually technically mine bitcoin on gpus because we all thought you know bitcoin can only be mined on asic miner so now it's possible to mine either nano which has got zero network fees or bitcoin which has got a small network fee so if you could just go down this article it just explains you know how two miners solve the, the payout problems and also another advantage of this is that you can actually get daily payouts if you use nano for instance because the payout threshold is very low that you're actually able to get a payout daily so here they've got the example where they say the minimum payment threshold when you're using nano is 0.005 ethereum which is only like 1.75 dollars and then for bitcoin 
the payout threshold will be more but it still enables you to get payouts fairly quickly so let me just go over and show you how I've done this <clears throat> so this is now inside my farm I've got 8 GPUs so I've got two 1660 Ti's and six 1660 Supers which I'm using so for demonstration purposes I'll be using the two 1660 Ti cards which I will set up mining Ethereum caching it out in Nano and then take you through the process of our setting up your wallet also how to set up your flight sheet and then how to check the pool so now if we just go to farm overview we go to the wallets so the first thing that you will do is to click on add a wallet now I've already set up a wallet I will just show you all the details that I put in here so here I've created a wallet which I called Ethereum Nano 2 Miners Wallet and there's a specific reason why I named it this way because the coin that I selected is Ethereum but the address that I'm using is actually something else so just to demonstrate to you what I've done here so you add a new wallet the coin that you select is Ethereum but the address you are going to use is actually your Nano or your Bitcoin address depending on which coin you want to have it paid out so in this case I put my nano address in here and I just renamed it Ethereum Nano 2 Miners Wallet. So in this way I know that I'm mining Ethereum, I'm getting it paid out in Nano and I only mine this on the 2 Miners pool. So then we just update it. So once you have updated it, you can go to your flight sheets. So because I'm only going to do this on two cards, I created a flight sheet that I actually set up with two miners. So the first one, I actually continuing on Ethereum and Zilliqa, which I'm mining on Ezil.me. And here you can see that I'm actually using GPU number 2, 3, 4, up to number 7, which is the 6. 1660 supers which I'm using and then I just created a new miner so if we go to edit just to show you what it looks like so I added a new miner <clears throat> the coin you select is ethereum the wallet that I selected is the new one that I created the ethereum nano 2 miner wallet and then we went to the pool configuration so I selected two miners I selected the EU server because that's closest to me and then I used T-Rex miner and inside of the miner I just added this command that only to use GPU 0 and 1 which we will be using for this example so now if we go back to the overview you can see that I'm already mining ethash on two miners with this new address that I created I've got 100% submitted shares so there's no rejected shares I already got 42 shares submitted and the hash rate that I'm getting on these two cards are almost 31 mega hashes per second at a very respectable 73 watts 66 watts so these cards are also running quite efficient so now just to demonstrate to you so we go over to the miner and we can see that I've got my two GPUs mining at 31 mega ashes per second the algorithm that we are mining is Ethereum and we have been mining on this now for 1 hour and 40 minutes so now if you go over to the two miners website and you go to the ethereum pool you can go on top and add your nano address search for it and then it should pop up so this is your ethereum statistics with the nano address that we are using 
So basically what will happen is you will accumulate Ethereum and once you get to the payment threshold, which in this case I've selected the minimum, which is 0 0.0005 Ethereum, then it will be cashed out to my hardware wallet in Nano. So down we can see the current hash rate is 63.02 mega hashes per second. The average at this stage, because I've only been mining for almost two hours, is much lower and it will take about six hours for this to reflect, you know, the six hour average. Okay, so there you've got it. So that is how you set up the Ethereum mining on the two miners pool to get the payout in Nano. So I will check back tomorrow to see if we get the payout and then I will definitely do a follow-up video on mining Bitcoin the same the same way as a matter of fact mining Ethereum but just to get it paid out in Bitcoin. Once again thanks for watching the video if you found it useful or informative please hit the like button and also subscribe for more future content and I'll see you on the next one.